guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Mix and Mayhem, the battling card game. With Mix and Mayhem you can play up to, well it's two to four players, but depending on the game, depending on the number of players, and there's also a mix or slash variety of games in Mix and Mayhem. In the game, you're going to be playing up to, I think, six different types of games right now, but they're constantly making new ones, and in fact, they made two new ones as we were going through the reviews and trying all the different games out. We played those as well. Some of them are going to be more like war, others are going to be more like building your own monsters and fighting, and then there's also bluffing mechanics in certain games. Each one has its own unique aspect, but for the most part, you'll be building monsters from head, torso, and legs, and then combining them to fight and or gain the most power as possible, utilizing these different types of monsters that you've created to best your opponent in different ways. Anyway, that's the basic idea of the game Mix and Mayhem. Let's go ahead and show you down below what you get in the game, and then I'll talk about a couple of games and then our review. You ready, Dante? Let's do it. So here we have the game Mix and Mayhem, the battling card game series one and everything included. As you can see, you're gonna get head, torso, and leg cards. And there's also action cards for each of the different uh, sets of cards. And depending on the game is what you're going to be and how you're gonna be setting it up. But for example, there are going to be different characters in the game, such as maybe a weird character or a deadly one or a disgusting one or a giant, maybe even a mutant. And all of them are gonna have a strength and or power. These are gonna be brains here and you're going to be trying to basically put them together. If you can get the same exact types together with all three of the different pieces, generally it's going to give you a bonus of 10 points, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So there's these cards here, which you saw already, and the, the, the only difference is the fact that some of them are torso, some of them are legs, and some of them are heads, but they all have in some way, shape, or form different numbers. So for instance, if I made this little guy here, that's going to give me 33 plus 34 plus 23 points for most games, and it is an Admiral Dino Agent. And it's put together just like this, as you can see. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about these guys over here, too. So these are action cards, and certain games will let you use them, and certain ones won't, depending on which ones you're going to be playing. This is a Tornado of Chaos, and it says your opponent must miss a turn, or this one says bring a Tornado card back from the dead, and this one over here says your opponent, uh, what, what's this one say? This one, steal your opponent's card, okay, five, or leg card, okay. And so anyway, well, let's talk about a couple of the games, and in this booklet here is going to be a certain number of games you can go ahead and try out, whether it's... Uh, complete me or attack or wipe out and they're going to either be shuffling all these together or not depending on the games and you're going to be dealing out certain cards so for instance one of them is a bluffing game in which you're trying to complete a monster of an exact type uh, so what you'll happen is you'll draw cards from either of the decks and then you're going to go ahead and say, I want this one, which one? Uh, so now you can go ahead and choose. And so I'll go, oh, okay, I'll, I'll take this one if that's what you want. And then we're gonna flip them over. So for instance, in this case, I would get my dino and he would get an agent and then it'd be my turn. And I'd be like, okay, I'll take this one and this one. I'll look at them. Okay, I want this one. And so, okay, I'll take this one. Or I'll, I can even choose to take the one that, uh, uh, was wanted and then we're gonna and flip them over and you're gonna keep going like that And basically you're just trying to make a monster that is co correct. Ooh, in this case here I want this one here and then okay, I'll take this one I'll take this one and you can go ahead and put them on and as you can see That's still not the completed monster I need but the game will keep going until a certain point and that point is when you complete the monster So for instance if I got that dino head there and I was also able to get the dino legs, just like that. I think that's it, the savage dino creature. Then that means I would win. Now let me make sure that's the right one. Because there's a lot of cards and sometimes they seem like they fit. Ah, that's the right one right there. It's savage dino claws. But if I was able to get that one, I would win the game, right? Uh, another one is, let's go ahead and take these cards, all of them, and you can go ahead and shuffle them all up. And then you would go ahead and start drawing cards from the top of the deck. And by doing so, you're trying to form monsters to uh, fight each other. So you could, there's, there's ones that are going to be drawing cards to the top of the deck. And you'll be forming monsters. And the idea is pretty simple for a lot of these games. Uh, you, let's go ahead and just make monsters. Uh, here's some legs here. And there's another body. Let's see if we can get a head as well. And a torso. Let's see, there's a leg right here. Let's see if we can find a head for this guy here. So I have monsters like this. And you would just add up the powers and you can fight monsters. Some of them will also involve flipping these over and you'll have three different types of monsters and you'll be doing battling in which I'll have this monster here and a couple other ones as well. And I'll choose which monster I want to fight with. I want to fight with this monster and you want to fight with this monster. And then we'll go ahead and flip them over and you would add them all up. Now, because we're just doing one quick run through of the idea of the game, 
but it, I have to reshuffle all these cards and deal them out in, in sets and whatnot, depending on how, what game we're playing. But the idea stands the same as to trying to overpower. And additionally, remembering if you can get all the same type, you will win the game. Uh, let's see. So here's two to four players is attack. This one over here is called wipeout, which is only two players. And then this is complete me. And it tells you to remove all the action cards. So this one specifically doesn't use action cards. And uh, shuffle the character cards and place them in a single pile face down. So something just like this. And then decide uh, who goes first. Each player takes in turn uh, to take a card from the pile and lay it face up in front of them. As the game progresses, each player will be able to mix cards to create weird and wonderful creatures as the game progresses. And the winner is the aim to be the first player to create one of the 20 original monsters, which are the monsters that are actually not mixed up at all. So maybe if you want to create an alien, it have to be all three of the alien pieces. Or Wipeout is a two-player game. You split the cards into three separate piles for heads, torso, and legs, and then including the action cards, which are also marked on the back. And the, basically the idea is playing the game. Each player picks up the top card of the pile, the body parts. So they have to complete a character with a head card, a torso, and so on and so forth. And you try and fight your opponents and whatnot. So there is a bunch of different little games in it. But for the most part, you're basically trying to mix and match monsters, fighting each other, using bluffing, creating castles, all that good stuff. And in some of them, using these special action cards. It is a singular game with a ton of different games all attached to it. So you got a bunch of little series of games all all using just these head, torso, and legs, as well as potentially these action cards in the game, Mix and Mayhem. It's pretty much how it functions. Okay, well, look, let's come up and I'll give you a little more detail in some of the games, and then we will uh, talk about what I think. So that's the basic idea for the game Mix and Mayhem, the battling card game series one. And it stands to reason that all of the games are unique in their own right, but they all function the same way. You're going to be trying to create a monster's head, torso, and legs together to most of the time have the strongest power. In some games like Attack, you'll be creating monsters and your opponent's going to be either taking one and putting it down to make a better monster or choosing to battle you. And you'll be going back and forth, counting up the numbers and whoever has the most is the winner. There's the bluffing game in which you're gonna be drawing the two cards and choosing one or the other card and deciding uh, which one is gonna be most likely for you to make your one specific individual monster. The, most of the games are gonna want you to create your the individual monsters, but not always. Usually the ones with the highest value, the most important, and this is going to be a kids type of game. This is for probably, I would say, families, people that are under the age of 13 are going to be interested in this kind of game, maybe up from 8 to 13, something like that. And uh, if they like putting together monsters, they're going to enjoy this one here. The, this one reminds me of a game my wife made a long time ago when we did a board game creation contest in which she liked the idea of making different types of body parts to put together to make your own type of unique creature from from some random planet. This one has that feel as well. It's cute. It's fun, but it's also very, it's very luck based and not very strategic based. There's a lot more uh, whether or not you get the good card or not just based on drawing the card from the deck. There are some bits where you can go, oh, you know, I don't want this one or I want this one or this one's not as good as this one. I'm going to play here, but it, it's going to come down to what cards you're going to be drawing in this game. Now that's okay for kids and they're not going to mind that at all. Drawing a cool looking serpent head is going to be something interesting for them, regardless of how strong the monster can be, but it also provides a little bit of math involved, so kids will get used to adding up the numbers in a fun and unique little way involving this game, and the fact that there's multiple different types of games in this. The addition of slight bluffing, the castle mechanic in which you're building monsters up, the fact that some of them are going to be just trying to draw from the deck to make your own individual unique monster, and that some of them are sort of like a battling aspect for those uh, kids out there who are a little bit more, I want to fight my opponent, right? But they have a nice unique array of different things. This is one of those games that is uh, like, like the big green box of games or the triangle or pyramid game in which there's a multitude of different games. I imagine there'll be different series based on the cards and how you're going to be creating your own little monsters. So it has some good aspects. Uh, so like I said, positives are the art and the creation of the monsters. Kids are going to definitely enjoy this game. And then the negatives is probably a little bit more. It's, it's chance based as to what you're going to be playing down and how you're going to be placing them down. And what you're going to be choosing doesn't necessarily always matter because sometimes your opponents are just going to have better cards than you. So if this sounds like something that's interesting, interesting for you, or maybe for your kids or your, uh, your your relatives' kids, this might be something to take a look at. You can go ahead and take a look down below and let me know in the description whether or not this is a game that sounds interesting for you or for kids. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. <laughs>